Hello, this is Dr. Slave Gallagher. This video is for our female to male patients on testosterone who are considering having top surgery. And so um, the good news is uh, we are no longer uh, requiring our patients to stop their testosterone in order to undergo top surgery. So in this video, I wanna talk about why we're making that change and what the science behind that is uh, and uh, what means or what that means for uh, somebody with top surgery coming up. So um, the way I was trained uh, was that we would usually hold, if a patient has taken uh, testosterone shots, we'd hold uh, their testosterone one week before surgery and one week afterwards. Why we were doing that, however, is a little bit confusing. So there were two different schools of thought. Um, the first more logical one is that when you're on testosterone, you might be at increased risk of blood clots. Blood clots are things that surgeons are terrified with. You can get blood clots in your legs, uh, which can travel to your lungs and actually can be lethal after a surgery. The bigger the surgery, the bigger the risk. And the main thing um, we think that leads to this risk is when a patient isn't moving about uh, enough going about their normal activities. So the same idea as when you're stuck on a plane for a long time, if you're not moving around after surgery, you're at increased risk. So one school of thought was this uh, was a good reason uh, to hold testosterone just in case it did uh, increase your risk um, of pulmonary embolism or what we call venous thromboembolism. So um, I've been doing some reading and a research study uh, I'm doing uh, with one of our current plastic surgery fellows. We did some digging on this and of course, like many things, unfortunately for um, the transgender population, there's not much evidence uh, for transgender patients. But what we do know is that there's a fair amount of evidence um, for cisgender guys who are receiving uh, testosterone supplementation, uh, which has become quite common uh, in older men. So um, the question has been answered actually many times before, does taking testosterone supplementation increase your risk of blood clots. And overall, there's very little evidence that it does. Um, there's some very nice uh, studies, for example, and one that we're very interested in out of the Cleveland Clinic, where they looked at cisgender men who are taking testosterone uh, uh, supplements and um, took a look at how they did with surgery. Were they more prone to getting blood clots after surgery? And the answer was no. That was quite a lot of patients. They had almost a thousand patients who were taking uh, testosterone and they match them with what we call controls uh, by 4,500 patients who weren't taking testosterone and they found no difference, no evidence that the guys taking testosterone were at more risk of venous thromboembolism. Same thing for some of the large uh, British studies. There's a study looking at about 30,000 men uh, on testosterone not showing an increased risk. There is one study, however, that does uh, indicate that maybe in the first six months uh, of taking testosterone, you may be at slightly higher risk um, of pulmonary embolism. So when I look at our patients who are undergoing top surgery, 86% of my patients go home the same day. And we're talking a couple of hours usually after the surgery. They tend to be young, fit and healthy guys uh, who are moving around a lot after surgery. So in the vast majority of the cases, um, when I don't have any concerns that the patient is um going to be uh, debilitated for a long time after surgery, uh, we've decided that it is safe uh, to go ahead and let the patient uh, take their testosterone uh, like usual around the time of surgery. So no need to hold the dose the week before or the week after. I mentioned there was another school of thought as to why you should hold testosterone. This was suggested in at least a couple of papers that I know of, um, or a couple of studies out of Europe. And um, what they looked at was initially with top surgery, they saw that a lot of patients had bleeding after surgery, and that number is up to 11%. So over one in 10 guys uh, were getting a significant amount of bleeding uh, after top surgery. And what, uh, in some cases, they looked at and said, well, you know, these patients are on testosterone, maybe the testosterone is causing the bleeding. There's really not too much evidence uh, that that is the case. Um, you know, when I talk to endocrinologists about it, they can't think of a way that it, it would increase bleeding. Um, 
I know certainly in our population, out of uh, 250 uh, mastectomies, we just had one bleed. Um, I attribute this uh, to the drain-free technique, which is a talk, uh, a whole other topic for another time, um, which, which we have studied and published on. But um, getting back to my original point, I don't see that there is evidence uh, that a patient needs to hold their testosterone before top surgery. The caveat, of course, to this is there are exceptions. One exception would be in a patient who develops what we call uh, polycythemia. Um, so this is just a way of saying that their um, blood cell count is increased um, and which is sometimes ascribed with testosterone. In that patient, we certainly will need to hold it and maybe do a little bit more investigation. Um, and in patients who are worried about their mobility uh, after surgery, we may still uh, hold it. Also for bigger surgeries, uh, such as uh, phalloplasty, again, you're going to be off your feet for a long time. Uh, so right now we're going to recommend holding it uh, for that surgery. But the great news is for your average top surgery patient who is young and fit and healthy, uh, you no longer have to hold testosterone.